Big D, one of the world's premier ice climbers mains, has been a little bit of a downswing recently, especially his most recent trip to Japan. He didn't do super great, but at Gommel X, he said, hey, that was a fluke crack. Let me get back into business, where he plays top eight winner's side. So I'm going to go over two of his sets in winners versus Siski and versus MK Leo. He also beat Light and a couple of other people, but people talk about Ice Climbers versus Fox enough. So I'm going to be watching, I think it's Ice Climbers Joker and Ice Climbers Samus. Let's go. So when I was on my little Ice Climber, escapade playing this character more. Big D says that this character uh, beats Samus, which is cool because uh, a lot of times ice blocks on charge shot is really good because it does reflect or it does like get rid of it because of the hurt box of ice block. And obviously neutralizing Samus's best option in neutral and her most punishing thing is going to be very good. Even if the ice blocks do come back, it's typically not going to be as big of a deal as stopping charge shot. And the advantage of course can be really good disjointed up air and stuff like that. So yeah, it makes a lot of sense that this was a victory for him. And this is just a very slow burn start of the game. Siski does not want to approach. You can see how, like, apprehensive he is of just going forward. Siski, of course, did end up getting top eight uh, over Cosmos in the loser's very, very close final set. Uh, oh, some good damage for Siski, but not going to be able to punish the Squall, and that's going to be a dash attack from Big D. But Popo dash attack doesn't do that much. It's only Nana dash attack that actually combos. Nice grab for Siski, but not going to get any follow-ups. Oh, add a shield, desync. I'm not sure if that's what Big D wanted, but either way, gonna get charge shot for it. Desyncs are really risky versus Samus because of the fact that you can get grabbed or charge shot out of it. And of course, that tether grab can be scary because it'll just make. Uh See, there, there's the ice block interaction. Like, that's super good. Like, getting rid of, like, a 30% charge shot for... Even if you take the ice block, what, like, 2%, I think, or 1% or whatever it is, tries to get a follow-up, doesn't get it, but Big D... Nat has been getting hit a lot, but Popo has not. That's not going to be the stock, though. And, of course, Big D going to go to save. Both characters around, or both climbers at even-ish percent, and that dash deck is going to do it. Siski takes the stock lead. Hasn't really got hit by anything major. A couple of up airs, but only typically when Popo's there, so... Uh, not... Okay. Great recovery to get around that. Like, for a long time, of course, Big D was getting, like, top 8 pretty consistently, or, like, ninth consistently at these majors and super majors. I actually did an interview with him during that time, so if you want to go check that out, you can in the card uh, up in the upper right corner. But, yeah, I mean, he's been crazy to watch overall, and, you know, meta sometimes can be scary. If there's a lot of Steves, it can be pretty hard to win, even though I know he has that Akola win. But just in general, you know, sometimes the meta can get into less friendly places for Ice Climbers, but sometimes the stars align and you get a good run. It's crazy, because if he beat Riddles in Winter Semis, he low-key might have won the tournament, uh, because uh, it would have been Tweak in Winter's Finals, and he has a good record on Tweak. Or no, Tweak would have gone Sephiroth. I lied. Never mind. My bad. Even game, though. You know, Big D bringing it back. Playing a very slow game, just, again, mostly playing with these ice blocks, because he doesn't want to deal with charge shot. Nice up air. That's what I'm talking about. This good advantage state. Oh, actually commits a little bit early to that, uh, but does get some more pressure. Siski running away for his life. Yeah, super worth it to just ice block for those charge shots, 100%. Okay, grab down throw. Not going to be the full combo, interestingly enough. And, uh, of course, Big D just going to pummel there to give Nana as much time to reset as possible. Classic Ice Climbers things. Uh, Siski does do a lot of fastball air dodges at a disadvantage. I wonder if Big D is going to end up uh, capitalizing on that. <gasps> I didn't even think about that for the ledge trapping. Even if... Popo gets hit for, like, ledge jumping or something. You can do the ledge desync and actually get a, uh, a get-up attack in with Nana or, you know, vice versa. And then the add a shield desync with the ice block and then the blizzard hitting the ice block back towards Samus after the ice block got sent back towards Ice Climb from hitting the charge shot. Very, very interesting stuff. A lot of nuanced interactions. I also don't know how many Ice Climbers there are in Europe as far as... I can't think of any off the top of my head. Trying to get a ledge trap, but is also scared to commit too early because Siski does love to shoot that charge shot off of ledge, so he doesn't want to go for, like, a down tilt or anything. A lot of these moves are safe on shield for Ice Climbers as well, so the up going to be less prevalent than in some other matchups, for sure. Uh-oh, no down tilt. That should be an up smash. No, Siski gets all the way away from it. That's fine by him. Yeah, nice jump over that missile there, or charge shot, whatever, whichever he jumped. Yeah, nice jump over the charge shot there. I think Siski didn't expect it to hit, uh, because I'm pretty sure he was no longer in lag. That grab is going to hit Nana, but trading for Popo Squall. Desync. Siski wasn't ready for it. The up tilt. Low key desync up tilt. Like, side B desync up tilt is way more useful than uh, side B. Uh, side B. 
Whoa, this is not me, by the way. This is just the video is kind of stuttering. Okay, gets the squall. Double up air. No single up air, but more pressure. Again, this is literally how it is. This is like the VOD. This is my fault. As you see, I'm moving very fluidly and the game is not. So, you know, just playing some more of that standard neutral. It's crazy that I can like watch this and know exactly what's going on. Uh, super missile from Samus. The forwarder is going to hit, but again, another squall punish, but going to drop out, but still not going to be that much ult. Nice backer by Siski is going to get the edge guard potentially. Yeah, I think you should be doing bombs off stage to interrupt the belay, but uh, okay, there's the frame rate back. And yeah, there's the up tilt desync on the soy milk, and that's going to be some good damage. No double jump on Siski as, as far as I could, as far as I remember. So, oh, nope, has it. My bad. Dash attack still hasn't landed. A backer can close it out. The ledge trap gonna be really scary here. Up smash? Oh no, up tilt. And the wait, why did the Nana up tilt not go second? That was super weird. Yeah, for some reason, Nana's up tilt hit the final hit after. Oh, maybe Nana was missing some of the hits. Because uh, that was supposed to be game because the Nana up tilt has so much more hits done. Uh, but not gonna end up being it there. Super weird interaction. And that might cost Big D the game. Still no double jump, gonna up air and then go for up below. Ledge trap hits the other way, that's so fortunate for Big D, but still has to close this out just with Sopo, not gonna do it. Oh, alive, my bad, sorry. Oh, that Zer, that Zer will close it out, shoot. Oh no, he missed, okay, it's fine. That up tilt being weird literally cost Big D the game. Smashville, a lot less room for Siski to run around, a lot less platforms to, uh, you know, hide under, even though of course there is that center one, but not gonna be as useful against Ice Climbers than the Battlefield platforms uh, comparatively. And already we have Big D with the percent lead with some of these Ice Blocks gets a grab. But again, in neutral, you see when uh, Big D is kind of playing, uh, he's oftentimes doing it with the back facing away, or sorry, the back facing Siski. Um, because that way you'll grab Nana and you can get this Squall Punish. Because Nana will always be, not always, but in neutral, Nana will always be a little bit behind uh, Popo. Okay, nice up tilt out of that. Get some extra damage with that Squall, might as well. If Siski's not double jumping out of hits done. Desync. And that's an up smash. Wait, how did he even get that desync? Was it just like weird landing lag desync? Oh, the parry changed it. That recognition by Big D was so good to know that the parry is going to affect that desync like that far into it, even after doing a couple ice blocks. Super crazy. Ice block two frame. He's not going for any down tilt two frames, which is interesting because those will just straight up kill Samus. There's an ice block desync. Back air, nothing. Tries to get it. Yep, that up smash absolutely going to kill. You cannot be that aggressive on Ice Climber Shield. Okay, forward are hitting both climbers. That dash attack not hitting either though, and that's gonna be a tech chase. Up airs, up airs, up airs. So much damage. Already lapped in percent is Siski. Oh, but that super missile is gonna hit. Yep, when it's just Popo, you can definitely up B out of shield a lot, but when it's both climbers, it could be a little rough. That's a punish. Siski not getting the proper hit on Nana. It's also risky at this point to go for anything bigger. Great, down to Blizzard still worked at 84% on Samus. That's crazy. So much percent. That did 40. This character does so much damage. I wish I had enough time to play all the characters I want to play because I'd want to play like Ice Climbers and me, Brawler and Pikachu, obviously, and Steve and, you know, Yoshi and Samus, but there's too, that's too many characters. How do you end up getting skill? I wasn't actually paying attention. I just got a random up air in the middle of the stage. That was such a good like movement recognition by a big D. That's gonna be a three stock, two stock to one stock lead. Up air, up air, but big D gets out and then mashes out. Yup, side B out of shield with the desync. There's a grab forward air, blizzard, 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 up tilt. What are you gonna get? Up air, that was so much damage. This is what you get for hitting shield at 8%, you go to 96. And I'm pretty sure Big D could have done something different with like Footstool Squall. No, I guess it would have been Popo Footstool Squalling, so it wouldn't have been as effective. 96%, that's a lot of percent. That was 88%. And that, you know, really quick uh, Soy Milk desync into potentially stock was very scary for Siski. Not gonna be the hit though. And there is another Soy Milk just to set up the Ice Block desync. Siski needs to get a big hit. There's a down throw going after Popo, not Nana, which, meh, you gotta go after Nana. You gotta go after Nana. Being able to do two different ledge options is actually so clutch. 
for uh, Ice Climbers because when they grab the ledge, especially out of up B, they actually have like a timing where they can do multiple ledge options. So you can eat the bomb and get up attack. So you always are doing two of those options at once. And then of course, great conversion off the ice there. Snowman percent, very, very classic for Big D to win there. That is gonna be one, one. We're gonna go probably, yeah, I was gonna like probably a bigger stage like PS2 or Hollow and PS2 is the choice. Gonna switch to normal Samus. Yeah, I feel like um, Dark Samus is worse in this matchup because of the extra hit lag on forward air, which you don't want against Ice Climbers. Okay, gets in with the desync. Already pushes Siski to the ledge and the up air trying to cover more stuff. Charge Shot is gonna do some good percent, but only to one climber. These ice blocks making neutral so annoying, but at the same time, yes, kill her. No, he didn't go for the uppy. No, you're supposed to go for the uppy there. Honestly, you should have just done a jump up B straight up, because uh, it probably would have killed, because it would have been high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just needed to go for up B and kill Nana. I don't know why he didn't. Uh, like, has to put in all this effort to kill Nana, and ends up getting punished for it. Where I guess it was the same thing as getting punished initially, so whatever. But I just always take my opportunity to kill Nana every single time. But honestly, I don't think Siski's playing this matchup poorly. I mean, I feel like he's, he's had a couple of Nana kills maybe he could have got, but uh, it's definitely hard to do that. Uh, Samus isn't a super great character at killing Nana. Like, she's good at it, but not, like, fantastic or anything like that. But overall, I feel like not falling for many traps that uh, a lot of other players do. Like, he hasn't got, like, grab, you know, forward smashed at high percent from, like, any desyncs. He's been very aware of that, and he takes the first stock here on PS2. I don't think I've ever seen this many ice blocks. Oh no, the projectile war is in favor of Siski there. It gets 38%. And then Big D says, F it, I'm just going to run it in dash attack. Yeah, trying to get some type of shield pressure there is Big D, but not going to hit there. Siski very, very positionally aware, except for that Blizzard, which is going to end up doing a lot of percent, but not going to get the kill. Big D didn't have enough time to set up an up tilt up smash afterwards. Double back, you're trying to get the shield pokes, not going to land. And Siski. Dash tacking through shield, put himself in the corner, get up smashed. So uh, Big D will take that. And again, that is going to be that side B out of shield. Has to go kill Nana. What are you doing? That was a Nana kill for sure. That would, like wasn't even probably a difficult one. That's going to be 86% because you didn't kill Nana. That's one of those things like you just make one bad decision against Ice Climber sometimes and they explode. I know Aaron must have been so happy seeing Big D win because he's one of those like Ice Climbers is top five players. So, you know, Big D got a good run and plays top five. So. Yeah, jumping charge shot for Siski to get over the ice blocks. Very interesting. Gotta respect the get up attack. Does so there. And then that's so much damage, but again, doesn't get. Okay, I was like, doesn't get the Nana kill. Nana kills him or hits him anyway. Puts him into the ledge. If Big D gets this kill here, I would feel very bad for Siski. Okay, that's gonna be a lot of damage. Oh, could have done a grab back throw and then got a desync into a potential Nana kill. Uh, but not gonna go for it there. Trying to just not get hit. That missile actually gets beat by the Blizzard. Yep, quick soy milk for the desync off stage, or for the ledge pressure, I guess I should say. Weak missile, having uh, Big D need to shield, and there's gonna be, yeah, that, oh, the charge shot, but not gonna be able to get back to the ledge without getting hit, so he just air dodges onto the stage, but Big D's ready for that, down smashes, great stuff. Brought this game pretty far back, because he was down a lot more than this, uh, the first stock. Or I guess when he took the first stock, is what I meant to say. Biggie trying to find an opening with a grab, squall, dash attack, anything would be so good for him, but, uh, you know, Popo just getting barraged by these projectiles. Yep, Nair is safe on shield there, but uh, probably trying to get more pressure instead of wanting to respect the up B, which I don't blame him for, and it's a very slow-paced game, but one hit can literally be this much damage. We've seen Big D already get that much damage off of literally a single desync uh, into grab combo, so... You gotta be scared if you are Siski, you gotta keep playing well, hope to get that Nana kill, which is why, again, one of those, like, oh, the charge shot grab could have been so huge, Nana would have all been even dead, and that's a much different story. Popo versus Samus seems really, really bad for Popo, so. Oh, desync, forward air, up air, no double jump on Siski, still no double jump on Siski. That was some good damage, already brought it all the way back. There's a double dash attack, tries to get a desync with the blizzard, but up airing afterwards, knowing that Siski couldn't land on the floor. There's a blizzard, there's up tilt, there's up smash. That is game two. Just the explosiveness of Ice Climbers as a character. Great stuff there. What a crazy time to go for a desync. Like, that's such a, that's hard, right? Because you're expecting to go for like up airs and back airs, and then that random desync just forces that really awkward position, having to avoid the up tilt, falling into the blizzard, and that is gonna be the game, especially with that charged up smash. Yup. 
for Big D. Siski brings it back to PS2. I don't blame him. I think the stage was doing fine. He just got advantage dated once because, you know, that's kind of what Ice Slimers does as a character. Yep, up air neutral. Oh, 58, 66%. Has Big D off stage. That's going to be a grab. That's down throw forward air. Yup. I don't know if down throw forward air is actually true if you do it perfect, but it feels like sometimes it is. And that's going to be the stock. Huge lead right now for Big D. And of course, Siski not knowing whether or not Big D was gonna land on platform or not, so we couldn't just go for the up B out of shield. Up tilt, gonna be so much damage again. Double up air, that did so much percent. Siski was at 18. Double up tilt, the double double up air did 52. Ice Climber's damage is crazy. Sometimes they just kill you a sock with like two hits, it's crazy. And yeah, trying to read the drift away to get the back air, but not gonna get it, but still gonna cover the drift in afterwards with, uh, <laughs> Siski with the forward smash thing. I'm done here. Again, not going for the kill on Nana. Maybe just expected her to immediately go off stage, but I feel like you still have to try to kill Nana for sure. And just letting her grab ledge. Yeah, he's not getting his Nana kills that he was getting earlier. Finally does with the charge shot there, but again, a little bit of weird decision making. Gets the up throw, so evens up the stocks, but 104%. That is very, very scary percent. He tries to get the soy milk into the grab forward smash there, but again, Siski hasn't been falling prey for that desync. Maybe a couple of others, but he's not been dealing with um, the soy milk in the corner very often in terms of getting like grabbed or anything like that. Oh, that wasn't on purpose by Big D. Probably tried to get a desync and just messed up. Did he input jump air dodge with Nana after he got grabbed? Are you able to do that? Because getting to that center was so good and if you're able to do that, that's crazy. Not able to get the down smash though, not fast enough. Big D trying to close the stock out with the smash attacks. You can see the ice block not going to do enough. Big Derisiski didn't know that though, so goes for an air dodge read, knowing didn't knowing he had the not knowing he had the full combo. But then uh, because of that, Big D does end up getting the follow up hit desync there with the blizzard. Siski jumping out. Oh, gets the air dodge read. Such a good advantage by Big D so far. 61% up more than a full stock. There's that corner uh, soy milk that I'm talking about. It's been so hard for Siski to get back into the ledge in this situation. There's another one. There's a Blizzard forward air. The classic by Big D, but not dead. Wasn't the spike. So, you know, Siski lives to fight another day. And by fight another day, I mean get grabbed in the corner because Neutra got a bing into Blizzard. Big D just gets the timing so perfectly, so correctly. And that is going to be a 3-1 for Big D over one of Europe's best players, and now we are going to go to him versus MK Leo. So Big D and MK Leo have played before, but they played literally once online, three times at the same local where Leo lost as Byleth Marth and then won as Aegis, and then now let us go into the winner's quarterfinals, Big D versus Leo. Of course, we do have Leo. He won with the Aegis, so he went with the Aegis here at the local. Right, he won with he won with the Aegis at the local, so he went Aegis here. So let's go. This matchup definitely very good for Pyramithra. Very strong neutral, and of course, the ability to just get really early kills on uh, you know, Nana, if you are especially Pyra, and you can just like forward smash the other way, the good juggle game, um, and of course can land safely. Of course, the offstage can be a little scary, especially with ice block interruptions, but, uh, you know, that's kind of how he just works in every matchup, and he just still wins a bunch of matchups. Oh, down throw fair. Leo not even trying to mash out anything, doesn't want to waste his jump, doesn't want to get caught air dodging, so ends up getting hit by the non-true combo because, uh, Big D actually messed it up. Who avoids the desync there with the speed of Mithra, but not gonna get around. And yeah, Leo trying not to commit too hard in neutral because he, oh, great jump read by Big D. He knows that like if he commits super hard in neutral, then like Big D can get reads on that, like get a desync or just otherwise give Leo a hard time there. Also, I like Leo's Aegis. I think it's very good. I've always enjoyed watching it. I mean, as much as you enjoy watching any Aegis player, right? But, oh, dash attack. Oh, the players are so separate. The side be actually definitely going to help Big D recover. I don't know if he could have made it back without that. Because um, I don't think he had a double jump. And should be an easy spike. No, doesn't get the timing. It's a little harder on the air dodge than I thought. Down tilt. That should be the stock, honestly. Oh, no. Doesn't go for another down tilt. Big D had the opportunity. Was scared of the side B, though. So, needed, so wanted to shield instead of uh, trying to hit the air dodge. So, Sopo versus Mithra. Mithra definitely has less kill potential than Sopo, but Pyra, Pyra has a lot. This matchup seems pretty bad in terms of Pyra versus uh, Popo, but that is going to be a Nair for Mem... I was going to say Mem K Leo, and I was like, it's MK Leo. Yep, forward tilt forward smash, going to be so good. 
Down air, not gonna hit its mark. Jab desync from Big D. Crazy, he doesn't often go for jab desync, so that was a super solid punish there. God damn. So the jab desync here is good because it wasn't a guaranteed punish, and if Big D, or sorry, if MK Leo shields there, then he's gonna get combo jab into Blizzard into Popo grab. Uh, which of course then will be the stock so and then it ends up just getting the punish anyway very very good stuff by big d closing out that stock hitting with the squall but not gonna hit the full thing unfortunately so the desync up tilt not going to be 100 percent correct and yeah leo doing a great job separating but not gonna hit the nana there as nana jumps to the platform oh just random get up attack works i think uh big d expected a different timing so he tried to do the uh up b ledge grab desync and just got double get up attack by accident dash tax under the side b no double jump okay now has double jump for leo swinging down with these big arrows you gotta respect it is definitely bigger than the hammer of ice climbers but that could be the stock i did not know down air sent that way that was so good so of course he does the shield um knowing that if leo goes for side b he can shield it and then like turn around down tilt before grab the ledge or something like that and then instead goes for the down air to make sure nana gets that hitbox that sends backwards didn't know that was a thing that was super good today i've learned it also like mega killed 107 it mega killed i mean it's off stage so like makes sense but like i didn't realize you could do that back air on pirate is going to get the kill but let's see how much damage the sopo can do if any at all other than that initial side b he is getting a lot of these jump reads, so again, Big D is ready for a lot of these situations. Um, he has also been right, but it's just how much damage can you get? Okay, up air, up air. Again, Leo not wanting to air dodge because he doesn't want to give uh, Big D the bigger hit, but I don't know what's a bigger hit compared to up air, for ice, especially for Sopo, and that is going to be the kill. But 37%, pretty good extra credit for Ice Climbers. I mean, that's like a little bit closer to things like Down Throw Blizzard, which can be stock. It's a little bit closer to just like, you know, side B, up air, just like murdering people. Covering a lot of space, but Leo trying to find his opening does so. Gets a lot of up airs, but uh, the slow fall of that Popo... Uh, down air, I don't know, like, they they got rid of so many of, like, these weird glitched stall and falls, and then just didn't do that for Ice Climbers, and I don't know why, uh, at a hit stun, but that desync little down air is going to help get Big D back in an advantageous position, forward air, forward air, forward air, Leo, yeah, not going early enough for Nana, so not able to get anything that nair forward air, though, oh, great up air to kind of dissuade Leo from being there, up air again, no double jump, is gonna go for some desyncs, trying to get Leo to land on him and just die, but Leo will not go down without a fight, another landing nair, up air, that straight up almost killed uh, Nana, gonna go for Pyra, is going to uh, have enough time, but not quite the combo that he wanted, dash attack is gonna kill though, so now we have Sopo versus Pyra, no double jump on Leo, oh, I feel like he was ready, and just, you know, kind of overthought that position, it seemed like, understandable, it's such a scary position, back air is gonna be safe, ba that hit, that back air hit, I was gonna say Leo for sure getting the hit there, because he swung back air like really early, that was crazy, and it's with no double jump too, so no double jump. Oh, Leo fast fell, and that was probably like the last active frame low key, but no double jump, this should be the stock. Ice block, no, is gonna, oh, I was gonna say he could just down tilt the second hit of the uppy because it doesn't grab the ledge. Uh, so Big D losing a potential win there, but does he end up getting it anyway? There's down tilt, or sorry, downer, up air, is gonna be the kill. That should have been Big D's stock if he just down tilted the ledge. Sometimes we overthink it. Big D knowing he can do it though, so thinking about his counter pick, and here we go to game two. Back on Smash Hill, we saw in the Siski set, this really, really helped him because, I mean, Ice Slimers likes that platform because you kind of can't just like get really low, and those short hop up are still going to cover everything anyway. Um, loves having that center platform, and if he's pushed to the ledge, he can always just desync his way in or side be his way in, so he's very, very confident here. Okay, gets. That's so much damage. Even though he got like four sided out and great mash by Leo, honestly, that was still so much damage. Okay, Nair. Yep, desyncing to bait uh, Leo to hit him, then gets an up smash and then an advantage up air, and this is a very solid lead for Big D's Ice Climbers. Down throw up air. Okay, gets the grab on the, uh, the Nair, because again, you can't always shield grab Nair as normal grab characters. Side B out of shield. Leo again missing the tech there. Interesting. Border, no double jump on him. Yeah, gonna go for an air dodge again. Big D just not expecting these air dodges, even though it's definitely, like, it makes the most sense to go for these air dodges just because of, like, the distance and, you know, getting hit 
it's a lot easier to get hit for doing other things. I love that back air fastball by Leo just to like re be in the position and not really worry. Uh, dash attack on Nana. Is he going to get the kill? Gets a forward air, which probably isn't strong enough to get the kill. Yeah, the belay range is going to get Nana back in the fray. No double jump, no air dodge from Leo, and Big D recognizing the lack of air dodges there. Oh, I love that back air trap. That was so good by Big D. Leo hasn't even been air dodging, so that was a crazy read to go for. But again, also, realistically, there wasn't a read because Big D recognized that the up tilt didn't land the way he wanted it to, so it's going to have less hits done because it was the popo up tilt. And uh, because of that he knows that he can't get anything leo probably doesn't know that so he air dodges there and uh that's going to be a three stock to one stock lead get some extra damage with that uh squall but unfortunately it pays the price because leo fell out of it and he forward smashed gets a grab on the mithra aerial but not gonna get the dash forward into the blizzard so not gonna actually combo maybe just red leo dying in there Nice up throw double up air by Leo. He's doing his best to get these positions in an advantageous way for him. Um, doing a good job of hitting both climbers. Again, I think you should just focus on Nana a little bit more. Uh, you know what? Let me shut up. He did. He got the stock. He got the stock. So it's fine. Let me shut up. Let me shut up. He did. He he did good. That was good. My bad. Punish? No, not an actual punish, but enough to get Nana closer to the ground because that foresight only affected Popo. Leo bringing it back 50%. This is going to be a Mithra swap, or sorry, a Pyra swap probably within the next uh, hit on Popo. There it is. Not going to be able to get that down air. I mean, maybe could. There is still a two frame there. Forward smash. That doesn't seem like it was on purpose. I think that was supposed to be... I don't know. No, he definitely went for forward smash. Like, you could see him, like, kind of, like, move his body in the camera. Yeah, like, you see him go, like, <clears throat> like I'm pretty sure that was meant to be what it was, but that is going to be 1-1. Big D, I mean, he'll take it, right? The so game three gonna go to PS2. Literally, I feel like the stages have been identical with these games. I think PS, what was the first? I don't remember. Was was PS2 the first game? Yeah, it was PS2. It was PS2 into Smashville. So never mind. Different than the other set because of the lack of small battlefield. But Big D is going to be playing Leo on this stage. Again, Leo sticking, sticking to Aegis, not switching his characters. I know apparently he was going a lot of Joker, but Aegis definitely does very well versus Ice Climbers. So I don't blame him for doing so. Leo, again, maybe target switching a little bit too much, forward smashing the other way. Um, you can also forward smash towards Popo and, uh, you know, get Nana to DI really poorly, which definitely helps. Double up uh, air, no double jump, great swap to change the fall speed of these characters. Really, really good stuff by Leo, and they are basically even. There's a down air, no up smash available, and Nana does get to air dodge because of the higher hit lag. Uh, oh, that doesn't matter. I'm gonna shut up. Ooh, just gets that desync out of... What did he do? Got like out of nothing. Oh yeah, just knowing that Nana was coming back, so great timing to hit that up tilt there. Then hold shield as Popo, so that was great stuff. Just recognizing that Nana coming back was going to cause that desync. That is an even game, because I mean, Leo's playing that really well and then just got caught unaware, which I don't blame him. I would have been caught unaware too if I tried to approach there. Okay, down throw. What, forward? To, oh, you get Squall there on Fast Fallers? I've never seen down throw Squall. Because I guess you can get down throw Squall into... I mean, he tried to spike, so I'm assuming that's a true combo. Yeah, Nana double jumping there. Leo, a little bit unaware of how uh, Nana wants to act. Goes off stage there. Oh, going to get up tilted for his troubles as well. There's a down air. Not going to be the full thing. And big d right there saving nana uh, until she gets forward smashed across the stage and explodes into a million bits of confetti and leo with a very strong position here on ps2 yep jumping over the ground move of big d leo does get that kill two stocks to one but again we've seen big d bring bring this back because again i don't know who wins what games Leo going to get down throw blizzarded for his troubles, but nothing there because Big D also couldn't get on that platform. And Leo's been mashing really, really well out of the couple of ice situations he's been in. Uh, no double jump, and that's going to be the game. Two stock. That's sometimes what happens when you get separated. Get that early kill. So that was rough. Is going to go to Hollow Bastion, it seems like, for Big D. Uh, again, maybe a, a wider stage than he wants, but obviously can't go back to Smashville. But the platform layout has been very much helping him. Okay, there's going to be a grab, down throw, up tilt on Fast Faller. Again, that's crazy damage, 
from like the simple strings and like it's a little harder to combo fast fallers as uh ice climbers so that was really good stuff good air dodge through nana is does not get that lucky unfortunately there's going to be squall out of shield into ice block but the ice block not actually working but hitting popo so we actually had less lag that's sometimes how uh, ice blocks work it can be really really cool if you do like some of the interesting ice climbers tech nana is skewed in the 3d for some reason i don't know why she does that it doesn't actually affect anything as far as i'm aware um but it's just a weird like oh she's back I don't know why it does that. There's going to be a side B for Leo. Going to be some good damage. Hitting the down tilt on the up B. Really good stuff by Leo. Taking that first stock. Big D looking a little lost right now in neutral. And just hoping that Leo kind of just comes to swing at him. And then can get a punish. But not able to get punishes right now. Nice damage on both climbers for Leo. He's playing the super well forward smash. Does Nana? Yeah, Nana just straight up dies. He wins this game. That's crazy, because now I know who wins the game, because I know Big D wins the set. What does he do? How does he bring this back? That's actually insane to me. Yeah, I'm assuming he gets at least a Sopo kill, maybe like 40% before he dies. Forward throw. Down till two frame, no? Okay. Oh, tries to get that. If he dies first and he makes a three stock to one stock comeback on Leo's Aegis, that would be insane. He gets a three stock to one stock comeback on Big D, sorry, on MK Leo's Aegis. There's a backer. That's going to be the first stock. I mean, like, I know Ice Climbers can do Ice Climbers things, but, like, Leo's been playing so solidly throughout the set. Add a shield desync. Okay, double up air. No double jump right now. Gets the jab desync. That's what I'm talking about. That's what happens when you shield that earlier thing. The down air, but Leo does tech, recognizes the second hit. Even though he wasn't supposed to be able to tech, I guess. Oh, air dodge is back to the ground. But again, 100%. That was so good to recognize that he could get a desync there, but not even going to get anything really. But yeah, making sure that Nana nares does delay jab to make sure that. And then the up air, dude, that stock was insane. And they'll randomly double jumping in neutral, falling down and double jumping. Maybe he just meant to full hop and messed up. I'm not sure. But I mean, brought it back hella. That was a really, really good stock for Big D. Has him off the stage. Doesn't go for a down air, but goes for the down tilt. That forward air barely missing. That honestly might spell disaster. Gets it by Squall. More pressure. Leo isn't able to, you know, neutralize yet. Okay, there he does. Yeah, not able to get more on Nana there. It was a little bit hard to get anything. And now it's 71%. Literally, Big D's in the lead. That's insanity. Okay, Nana off stage. She'll make it back though, so Big D doesn't really have to go that far back to make it back. Oh no, doesn't go for the Nana kill there. That's insane. Gets up tilt up smash, and that's gonna be the kill. This was absolutely a Nana kill. This is hitting both of them. I mean, I guess he rolled. He rolled so he wasn't sure, but then he tries to go for the true combo here on uh, Popo after this Nair. Instead of just, he should have just charged forward smash to the left. No double jump. That would have been the kill and would have had a Mithra and or Pyra, honestly, versus Sopo connection. But then gets this uh, random little blizzard that, I mean, the blizzard roll is crazy. Again, these timings have worked out so well for Big D where like Nana's able to get blizzards while Popo is moving and then up tilt up smash is gonna cross up, it looks like. And then that's gonna be 2-2. Two, two. Game five, Leo bringing it to small battlefield. Very clutch three stock to one stock comeback there. Leo switching colors, showing that he's ice cold in the face of opposition. But at the same time, ice climbers are ice cold themselves. So maybe putting it into a field power bonus for Big D. I hope people get that reference and actually just watched Yu-Gi-Oh! the anime. I don't know if that's like an, a boomer old head thing at this point. 81% um, though on Ice Climbers. Sorry, on Aegis here. Big D with the lead with his Ice Climbers gets the get up attack and roll. So ensuring only one of his climbers is going to get hit there. He's playing super well in the neutral right now and getting those big hits. Understanding this is very similar to the Dadi Kusu clip uh, against Spargo. Where he just turns around and shield knowing that Leo's going to cross up. So it ends up being a bad cross up for Leo. The Blizzard there gets through. But Leo, oh, I was going to say with a good edge guarding position, but just get clipped by the Squall. Up uh, airs. Yeah, recognizing that Leo has started air dodging there throughout the set, so tries to get it, but the forward air is going to send Leo off stage. Just an ice block, not going to go for any desyncs here. He wants the power of both climbers and the frame date of both climbers. Gets the back air there. Big D with a first stock lead, which I don't even know if Big D has has taken the first stock yet. I don't remember in this in this set. Falling up air there, going to be more damage. 24% is trying to press on this advantage. Parries the last hit. Not even the last hit. The, non, the last hit of the move, but not the landing hit, uh, I think. It was hard to tell. 
has a desync in the corner. Leo just getting back to center though, not really worrying about it. Tries to down tilt the two frame again, unwilling to go for anything bigger and goes for a spot dodge there, not knowing that Nana couldn't attack. So could have got a forward smash there, absolutely. And that would have been Nana stock. So uh, what more is Big D gonna get? Tried to get a footstool on one of the climbers probably to separate them fully. Downer not going to hit, having to shield, getting out of that blizzard situation though, not getting grabbed in Leo, trying to play really, you know, averse to grab an up air in neutral, Big D using that side B, sorry, not that side B, the neutral B to uh, stall, and nothing right now on Ice Climbers gets the up air, not going to get the kill, Nana is dead though, can Big D get more before he dies, yes he does with that squall, great A line from Leo though, that up B just going to hit, Putting himself in a position where it's fine to get the two frame still. Not going to get it. There's that neutral B though out of the down tilt. Great kill confirm. 53%. But again, that's a lot of percent. That's literally like down throw blizzard, up tilt, up smash percent. So, you know, Leo still got to be very, very careful of this neutral game. BD tries to get the grab there, but the spacing on Leo a little bit too good. Nah, it wasn't good there, but uh, Big D missing it just a little bit. Not aware of when Leo wants to fast fall to get... Uh, away from these positions a little bit scary right now for both characters forward smash on nana i'm assuming that was because big d went for back air um yeah it was so back air turns into forward smash which gets uh aegis off of him which is going to be very very beneficial but that dash attack that punish on the squall is so good especially like it sends at such a low angle so if it's only if it's both climbers sometimes you can get in the offstage positions Big D trying to get back, but again, swallowing to sync up Nana, and that's just not a good position there because you do get dash attacked, which is so scary. Ends up air dodging. Nana's dead, took so much more percent than Popo Popo, only at 47%, but we're very close to getting a kill on this <laughs> Mithra. It's so funny watching Big D try to shark with all these up airs, and he just going like, ha, ah, ah, ha, ah, ha, and running away. Another dash attack. I feel like all that Leo's got this stock has been dash attack against this Popo. That's basically all the damage he's got. Tries to go for a forward smash on a squall, not going to get a forward air over the four tilt big d with the advantageous position near the ledge but not going to get it there there's going to be a swap to pyra directional air dodge is going to get up aired by leo this position sucks being above e just sucks okay downer going to hit not going to kill though but again so hard to make this sopo work against these two characters with more range and more firepower yes the pun is intended doesn't, doesn't get the downer though, so again, a cheeky down smash, a cheeky up smash can be the stock for Big D, putting himself in an advantage in that last stock. Goes for a side B, honestly, yeah, not great. You shouldn't be committing early there. You can react to the squall with a forward tilt or a runoff forward or something, so he should be maybe a little edge guarding a little bit differently. Unwilling to go off stage and get randomly clipped, but speaking of randomly clipped, that forward air is going to be it, and Big D with one more stock of his winner's bracket life, in this set at least, we saw him make a significantly larger comeback before. Gets up smash. Just Leo getting greedy for, you know, going for Nair jab. I'm not sure why. I feel like he hasn't done that all set. And he hasn't really been punished when landing behind. That's kind of how it works. If you land behind Ice Climbers, they can't do a super big punish. Especially on a minus 10 move like Nair. Okay, gets a grab. This should be good damage. Up air, up air, up air. That was, what, 47%? Oh no, it was 21%, so it was 48%. That's going to be a good position for Big D. Still has Leo in a disadvantage, but swings down with the back air. So he's going to get back air forward air into more damage. Okay, the Nair covering so many options. Leo trying to get rid of this Nana, but unable to get the finisher up there. No double jump. Does air dodge, but Big D not going to cover it. Squall is going to let Nana have a little bit more time to get back to the stage. This is so scary. Nana has so much more percent. This Pyro will be lethal to this Ice Climbers, but not going to get the kill there. Is going to immediately go back and try to save her. The Ledge Hop Blizzard! That was so brawl! That was so old school. Ledge Hop Blizzard, I feel like no Ice Climbers go for that. I think it's a really good option. People just don't go for it. And the Up Smash! Sorry, not Up Smash. It might as well be an Up Smash with how strong that is in the air. Honestly, Leo not able to do anything because of that side B, so catching it, putting him in extra lag. Uh, rough position and Big D just catches him up there with the up air before the downer comes out, advances to top eight winner's bracket. Leo did end up making top eight, so again, good stuff to Leo. So many people did well. I'm probably gonna have a tweak video because obviously he won Gommel, uh, if you were unaware of that. Sorry for spoiling it at the end of my Gommel video, but yeah, tweak one. There's a bunch of good sets. I'm also gonna be watching more of uh, the Sumabato that I covered with uh, Yone P. Also, Yone P apparently did have a streamed match versus um, 33 Perrin Box, who is one of the best Steve players. Yeah, I think he's like the third best Steve player, or maybe second in... Uh, yeah, I guess it would be third behind Okola and Yaman Auction. Uh, and I didn't know the stream. I checked three streams. There was apparently four streams. So that was my bad. But yeah, let me know what other sets you want me to watch. Uh, I would appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.